Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Bold Talk by Joe. Hopefully, everybody's doing great. This episode, I've recorded a million times. Trying to get this camera thing to work right is becoming a pain in the butt. I am trying to get the I'm trying to get the video quality to be great. So I posted a blog not too long ago about the trip to Hollywood and the pictures in the video were amazing. But once I hooked up that digital camera to my computer, somehow it just doesn't look right. I don't know what it is, but it, it seemed like I was too close to the camera, which I wasn't. And maybe it's my lens. I need to buy a different lens. Maybe something. Maybe there's something called like a podcasting lens or something. I have no idea. However, I just didn't like it. I didn't like the resolution. And most of my other videos that I'm recording on, it's my laptop camera that I've that I've been using, and I think it looks pretty decent. Not too bad. I do have a different camera that uh, I am using now, and this should be super super clear. I just had it in there stored away because it broke a long time ago. And then the company that I bought it from decided to send me a new one, which was really cool. So now I'm using this camera and uh, I had this episode all done. This episode is about uh, grifting, grifters. Grifters are people that uh, lie to get money from you. And there's a lot of those. And this episode, I, I already recorded... But after I was going through the edit, I was like, I just don't like the quality. I want to have better quality, especially for, you know, for all of you guys. You know, that's I, I want to pride myself on audio, pride myself on quality. And uh, as you can see, I'm kind of moving around all over the place. Uh, now that I have my room back, my podcasting room in the house, now I can kind of set up everything how I want it. And uh, I'm just kind of working through it, right? Like I said before, for those that have followed me or listened to my stuff. I had we had a family member with us living with us that uh, came came off of surgery and we needed to I needed to relinquish my podcasting room. It's a spare room that we have. And I was using my bedroom, our bedroom, the corner of it. So I had like the floating shelves and all that stuff up there and I was trying to make it uh, make it look nice. But it was uh, you were like I was like in the corner, and it was just too difficult for me. Uh, I mean, I, I I did it. I had a nice, cool yellow chair that I was using. It was really comfortable, and uh, I was like, man, I need to go back to the room. So um, now the my mother in law is is not uh, it's not here right now. We're we're all taking turns taking care of her and helping her with whatever she needs. So she's now at my sister in law's. So I moved my room back. Trying to set it all up like it was before, it was just a hassle. Long story short, if you were kind of like, what the heck, now it's a different room, it looks different, yes, that's because it is. However, the quality of this video should be great, hopefully, right? I'm going to see after I edit it how, how if it looks any better. Back to my story. So this episode is about grifters, grifting. When we were out in Hollywood and... We came back. We came back from Universal Studios. We were hanging out, having having some dinner, some late dinner, and a few beers. And we were in the hotel. We were talking about homelessness, homeless people, stuff like that. And I told my wife, "Have you, have you, have you ever heard of Skit Row?" And she's all like, uh, "No, I, what the heck is that?" My wife doesn't know a whole lot about this kind of stuff, so. You know, I always have to tell her, like, do you know about this? I always have to ask her, right, just to make sure that she knows what I'm talking about. And she's like, no, I have no idea what this is. So I'm like, let me show you a video. So we had our iPad with us, and I was showing her a video of Skid Row in California. And she was like, oh, my God, all these people, like, where where do they live? I'm like, they live there. So I went on to explaining to her how some people got there and how some people are just regular users, or drug users, and people that kind of just, they like that life. And then there's other people that don't like that life, that they are there, unfortunately, because of during COVID, 
and people lost their jobs and it's really expensive to live in california so she's like oh my god i can't believe that's that's happening like that i'm like well it is so we started she wanted to see more videos i'm like yeah cool let's watch more videos and uh we ended up stumbling up upon a video of this person and their youtube is all in with ari so we're we're listening we're, we're watching it and uh we're like oh my god man it's just a young girl maybe in her 30s right she's she's pretty and uh she's telling she's telling her story how she's homeless in california it's hard to live she lives in her car and she's trying to make it and all kinds of stuff that she has no friends and no family so we watched the full video and then we watched you know we, my wife's like let's click on the next video so i'm like okay cool we click on them and uh my wife goes do you see something strange about this video and i'm like no not really and she's all like she is too young she is too pretty and she's homeless and she has no family and no friends she's like that makes no sense that girl's hair is really nice it's not nappy it's not somebody that's living in the car she's all like there's something wrong about this about this uh, about this girl so i'm like no you know maybe she takes care of herself or something she's like no way she's all like i bet you that if you were doing this i bet you if you were out there in the car and and making videos about this I, I bet you wouldn't have the same followers as she's as she has and she has a point i've been doing this this uh youtube thing i'm trying to hit it hard guys I'm, I'm, so go out there and like my stuff guys I'm, I'm 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 learning all this stuff i have no idea what the heck i'm doing when it comes to youtube but i'm i'm trying to do it so go on there and like it um so if i was to do something like this she's right i wouldn't be able to get the the kind of following that she has I've been doing this, uh, I've been uploading on YouTube for maybe four months, I can't remember, it's not, it's brand new, okay, brand new channel, so it's like, I have like eight followers, you know, and I'm playing with all the settings and trying to do hashtags and everything and nothing, right, and this girl went from 10 followers to like thousands like overnight and that is what sparked the conversation there's a lot of people for instance on youtube that are like kind of like trolls and they don't want anybody to have more views than other people they don't they get mad or jealous because some others oh this person is is i can't believe their views are higher than mine and that's all they think about right and to each his own that's fine but some of these people that keep track of other people to see how they're doing and how they're doing it they happened to start doing some research on this re person and they found out that this person is not who she claims she is and that this person is from a completely different state she's not from california she she used to be with somebody and they had a baby and then the baby ended up getting hurt and she they went to court and she's she's she's, a, she's basically a criminal and she has a criminal record and I mean, all these things are popping up because it, it, it's not even her name. Ari's not even her name. It's something else. And I can't remember what it was. But uh, these people are putting out these facts out there, right? And uh, they're like, this. she's a scam artist and all kinds of stuff. There's tons of videos out there of this person. And we felt, I'm going to speak for myself. So I felt betrayed. You know, I felt like shit because I've done a, a, an episode about homelessness and I have some other episodes that I'm working on when it comes to that. And I hate that. That's one of the things that I hate the most. If I was a millionaire, if I was rich, I would be out there helping the, the real people, the people that really need help. And I hate seeing people, families, kids in, in the streets because of something unfortunate, right? And so this hit me hard. I was like, oh my gosh, she's fucking lying to everybody. Not only did she get thousands and thousands of dollars off of youtube but she also had a patreon and had like a thousand dollars of donations and something like that i can't remember what it was and and that's when you really get upset because somebody is using homelessness somebody's using that that tagline using that premise to get money off of other people and of course here comes the heroes the idiots they're like oh she's hot hey what's up girl let me give you some money hey what's up come stay with me hey let me give you some money i'll help you out girl and then you have the dumb people they're like i was there too i was there and then they're giving her money if you don't do your research it's easy to take to for people to take advantage of you and that's what happened is 
It just something didn't add up about the girl. Something was just strange about it. We've watched a lot of videos before we watched that one. And the people that were that had families that were homeless because they lost their jobs or they moved to a different they moved from a from a different state to California looking for a job or following somebody or whatever and they couldn't find anything and uh they, they had nothing no money to survive they were they looked like they were in need they looked troubled they look like you know like man we need some they're really desperate and they don't they i mean their hair were their hair is nappy and i mean you can just tell right because you just can't get ready to go to work or ready for a for a podcast in inside a car it must be really difficult and this girl was just her hair was done her makeup was perfect and she was like she just didn't add up right and that's why we started doing the investigation but there's people out there grifters that are just stealing money from everybody else and not and to top it off you're like it's such bull crap because you have people like myself or other podcasters and, or other people that are creating media creating creating content that work hard that uh, are trying to do it whatever they can to get you know to get to where they need to be and you get hardly any followers or hardly hardly any listens or whatever then you have people that are doing bad shit that are taking advantage of other people that are lying that are just doing it to get money from other people and these people have hundreds and thousands of followers and you're like how is it and i'm not even gonna go i'm not that kind of person like oh how is that not fair it's not fair that they do this well you know it's 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 bullshit that people like that it's bullshit that that's the way how life is right if you are a person that takes advantage of people or that likes to live off the system, whatever it is, it's bullshit that people like that can get away with it. But you have somebody else, a family that really needs help and they don't get any. They don't get any help. We watched a bunch of videos of people living in their cars with their kids and they're not getting any help. And of course, it's going to be the people out there that are going to go, well, the girl was smart. Maybe they should make a YouTube. Well, you know what? Not everybody is. Not everybody can do that. And I think that it's a lot easier for people that are trying to take advantage of other people or swindle them or, you know, whatever you call that, grifting. I feel like people that are like that, that are used to that, that they have no remorse and they can do it and they don't give a shit. But I feel like other people, for instance, like myself, it would be really hard to go, hey, guys, like I'm in a van. You know, it's like it's hard. You know, and there's nothing wrong with asking for help, but I feel like they can just lie about it and get away with it. And the actual people that are actually homeless, they won't get shit. Nobody will help them. And that's what I mean. That is not fair. You know, that is not fair. It's just, it's just complete bullcrap to me. And, uh, you know, I'm glad that they caught her on time because she's just not getting the money that she used to get. And I'm sure there's, there is people out there that are still following her because I went through her comments, you know, for the research for this show, for this episode. And they're like, oh, don't worry about it, girl. They're haters or blah, 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 or I'll still help you out. And of course, you know, of course. So there's still people like that. They're always going to be dumb and they're going to give somebody money that doesn't need it. While this girl is in hotels partying and smoking weed, you know, which is not bad, right? And nobody's saying smoking weed is bad because I don't want people to be like, he said it's bad, fuck him. No, I never said it was bad. It just looks bad because you're homeless and you have no money to live, but you're smoking weed and you're taking somebody else's money, their donations, because you're lying. That's what looks bad. So that to me was, uh, you know, I, I just didn't like it. You know, I just didn't like it. I, I wish I could help people that are desperately in need. You know, that's what the government should be doing. But I looked up a little bit in, uh, about California and they have a lot of money, millions of dollars every year for homelessness. And nobody knows where the hell the money goes. It just, obviously, everything's corrupt. Obviously, you know, that there is some people, okay? Now, don't get me wrong. There is some people that like this life, that they get the money, they get the food stamps, they get, and they, they get to do drugs, buy drugs, live out in the street. They don't have to work. I get it. But somebody that has a family that wants to work hard for what they have, they don't want to live like that, Okay. I don't know what the percentage is. I don't know if it's 
sixty percent of them are users or drug users or have mental problems or you know anything like that, and maybe the rest are just people that were that were that were just laid off during the pandemic. I don't know what that stat is, but it's shitty that uh, I feel like people like that are the people that we should be focusing on. The people that actually do need the help right now, that have the children or, you know, that used to have a normal life, that they didn't choose that. They didn't choose to live like that. And they lost everything because they live in a state that you can live in a one bedroom for $5,000. It's not even livable there. Like, I don't even understand how people can work at Wendy's or another fast food joint or whatever, and they can pay, they can pay three, four thousand dollars a month for a house. I mean, it just to me, it's insane. And it's California's beautiful. I said this a bunch of times. California's, I believe, it's one of the most beautiful states in the country. And it's a shame that it's so jacked up. And uh, you know, they act like they they take care of it, but it's not. I mean, it's not even livable there. You can't live there. I can't just say, "Hey, we're living. We're going to California. We're gonna we're gonna live right next to the beach, guys." And I'm gonna transfer over there. I would be homeless too because I wouldn't be able to pay the prices of you know to live over there, the houses and how much everything is, the gas and everything. I mean, it's ridiculous over there. And you wonder why people are homeless because some people were just making it by. Some people were just making it by with that expensive rent, with that expensive mortgage, and they were working at they were working two different jobs or one job, minimum wage over there. It's like fifteen dollars an hour, whatever it is. Can't remember what it is. We looked it up, but they're just holding on, right? Just making it every day, making it every day, and uh, boom, COVID hits. They shut down the state. You, people start getting laid off, and what happens to them? The landlords are not going to go, oh, yeah, sure. There's a lot of shitty landlords that are going to go, get the hell out of my house, kicking them out, right? That's why they made that thing where, where they made that law during COVID where they couldn't evict you. And then some people just took complete advantage of it because, of course, that's what's going to happen. And some people before that, before that law was passed or that bill was passed, whatever, people were getting booted out, right? Because the homeowners have to pay for that too. And they don't want you living for free. So people were getting booted out and these people couldn't pay for anything because you just can't, you just can't get a job right away because they're laying people off. So what happens to them? Either some people went with their family members, some people went somewhere else. And a lot of people ended up in the street, in their car, in a tent, getting robbed. You know, you can't leave your tent like that. They'll steal all your shit. You know, I mean, it's parking in different parking spots because they'll kick you out. The police will kick you out. And yes, I am aware that they don't want people just camping wherever they want, but they'll get kicked out of, you know, obviously commercial uh, business places that uh, that they were parking behind the, the factories or parking behind the business and, and the cops are shooting them off, security is shooting them off. So, I mean, all that stuff that these people had to go through. And then you have some bullshit ass people just saying that they're homeless.